Okay. We had a we had a deadline. How are you? Yeah, good. Cool. So we're gonna share with everybody, and um, thanks for being here, whoever's here. I think Katie and Mike just let us get set up. We're gonna go live on Facebook in a minute. Yeah, you you look worried, Katie. Don't worry. It's just. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we, we stream this call um, live on Facebook, um, okay. yeah, so just, just so that people that don't want to come out on the call can watch from the shadows kind of thing. Um, I so think I might want to watch from the shadows. You're okay. If you, if you don't want to have your video on, there's a little button in the bottom left hand corner that says stop video. You're more than welcome to press that. But also it'd be great if you know you want to share and you have any questions that you want to ask Mitch and Jordy as they're going along. Um, and just so that you can get the most out of this call and keep it really interactive. But it, okay. it doesn't get a huge amount of coverage on Facebook Live. Like, don't worry about it. It's not like it's being oh, I... on TV. It's just, it's, it's just out there. If anybody is going to find value from it, they can find it, that's all. Okay. Okay. So we are going live in two minutes, guys. Two minutes. Mitch, is Geordie with you in the car? I've lost your audio. Hey. Is it just me? I can't hear you guys. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Hi, tired crazy mom. How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we were just biking for two and a half hours and then out at this beautiful organic cafe up in the mountains. Yeah, we are awesome, which is too bad. We would have loved to show that. Oh, there's other people. Look at that. Hi, people. Hi. <laughs> we're not alone. Hi, everybody. It's hard on a phone. You have to flip all the screens. So all I saw at first was you, Corky, and now I see that uh, we have beautiful people on the call with us. Oh, wonderful. Right. We are going live on Facebook. In live on Facebook. Two, Anyways, two, one. one. Where's Good Mitch? Mitch? Hey, I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh, there's Mitch. We are, we are live. Welcome, everyone. to play a life club here. Can, I, can, can I start today? Go ahead. Yeah, no, you say hello and whatever, but then you always, to, for the first 10 minutes, talk about, you know, your life story, which means I've talked about mine. I don't want to talk about our life story today. No, I wanted, you to, see, I wanted to welcome our coach, Claude, who got us out to play at life today on the mountain bike. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out, guys. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is our friend, Claude, and, and he's a bike enthusiast, a biking, road biking, mountain biking and he's on vacation right now and at some point maybe we're going to get him to convert to our lifestyle because for us vacation is whatever day that it's nice out and we actually get our asses out of our chairs away from our desks and say let's go play so on this beautiful day claude was the initiator and he got us out there because i had a whole bunch of work that i wanted to get done and when my wife heard the idea and I said, I don't think I'm going to go. I have all this work I wanted to complete because I've been busy setting up marketing campaigns and all kinds of fun stuff. And I was into it. And she literally picked me up and just about threw me out the door, said, you're going, get out of here. Go be your young, playful, amazing self. So I think that's what we should talk about today. Um, last week, we wanted to talk about where you start and... You know, but it seemed like we were talking in circles again, because where you really start is what we're talking about today. Where you start is getting out there and doing stuff that you love doing. Because when you're that you, when you become that you, everything changes. Life changes. The way you look at yourself, because we're all so hard on ourselves all the time, all of a sudden that changes. The way we look at our loved ones, the way we treat our loved ones, and our friends, the work that we do. You know, when I'm in flow, my work is amazing. When I'm all bogged down and it's monkeys on my back and why do I have to do this? Or if I make it about money, you know, because 
you know, money gets the best of all of us and it becomes very stressful, then everything changes. So what happened, what we learned to do in the past few years was reverse it. Okay, and that's the whole concept. That's our concept behind the Play Life Club, right? Getting in touch with your inner child and being like that four-year-old that needs to go to the, you know, that the biggest thing today is like, can I go play on the swings? Because think about it. If you think about life in simple terms like that and you just want to run around in the field and play, and every time we do that, we all know this because we're human. We become the best us and everything begins to flow. So how do you get out of a job that you're stuck in? How do you get out of a relationship you're stuck in? A life, a place you're living you don't want to live anymore? Any situation that you're in, how do you get out of that? Well, my answer would be to go and find your flow. And in order to do that, start thinking back and reconnecting with that inner child and with all the things that make us playful, loving, fun, when life was simple. Think of all the things. That's what I found myself doing a few years back, all of a sudden making lists of all of my aptitudes and things. I was like, how do I get out of this job? I want another job. It's like, okay, so I'll give myself an aptitude test and I'll write down all the things I love to do. And I had all of my hobbies and there were things like photography and videography and sailing and, and skiing and surfing and all kinds of things. And which in today's world, those could all be careers because the whole idea behind starting an online business, which is what we learned, you know, in our training that we signed up for and we've now two years in this is it's not about putting ads out there to try to get people to buy stuff so you can make money. It has nothing to do with that. It's about finding and reconnecting with your passion and working in your passion field and then trying to share that with other people that are looking for those passions. You know, if we're mountain biking enthusiasts, think about it. People want to know and see us biking. And then we talk to the biking crowd and then the biking crowd, there's all kinds of products you could be selling on Amazon as an affiliate. There are, there's so many different types of businesses you can make, but it's making those connections with people and then showing them, like, for example, if I was talking, if I became close to the biking group and I did this whole thing in social media and we started this whole thing connecting with people, just being, you know, our honest selves like we always are, but just picking this one passion that we have and just sharing it and sharing the message and talking about it and talking technical with certain folks, then you build relationships. And now that you've built that relationship, they want to know how you're biking on a Wednesday when they're sitting at their desk and their boss just gave them shit again, you know, and then you start that conversation and that's what happens. And then eventually, you know, and people don't understand, like maybe some of you guys don't understand. It's like, how do you monetize on this? I don't understand how you go biking on a Wednesday and you're making money. Ah, well, that's the secret sauce. That's what's behind, you know, all of this training and stuff that we're trying to share. And I always tell Mitch, I don't want to, like today's call, I don't want to make it sound like a sales pitch. I don't ever want it to be a sales pitch. I want to talk to people about finding their inner child, reconnecting with their inner child, and being playful, loving, acting always within integrity, being authentic, being real, you know, loving your true self. And taking that person, you know, out to play on the planet, whether it's at work, whether it's with family, whether it's anything you do. And it can be fun and sometimes not so fun. But if you truly get back in touch with that, with that inner child, then you love yourself and you become that playful person and you find that place of flow, think about it. Everything just starts to work itself out. Um, so you connect that with a really fun entrepreneurial business and basically all of a sudden your days are getting pretty positive and you develop that, you train some more, you find the area that you like to do, you know, 
Is that import export? Is that become an affiliate? Is that a coach? Is that, you know, I've built all these websites, you know, maybe I want to train people or build websites for people. Okay. And offer those services globally. Um, you know, we're friends with one girl that's part of a team and she was the videographer and made all these amazing drone videos. And now she's becoming globally renowned in her drone videos. Okay, Marilee Watson, you can go and check her out. And she's amazing, and I watch her videos all the time. So, you know, because videography and photography was her passion. And that's what I'm talking about, turning your passion into a business, you know, and we can share things globally now. And if along the way you decide you don't want to have your own business, you know, and you want to go work for an organization that's solving world hunger, Go do that, but go do what you're passionate at and go have that life that you deserve to be living. And that's what we're about. So thank you for allowing me to share. Close looking at his watch. He wants me to get him home. He just came from the mountains. No, no, no. So I'll put no. the floor to the next person who wants to share, ask any questions, or if not, Mitch is going to pipe in and tell us some stuff. Otherwise, it's up to you guys. Like, come out, ask any questions about anything we've been talking about, and we're all here to share. That's what this call is about. Absolutely. So just so you know, we are live. We're live here in Zoom and on Facebook. So uh, just be aware of that. Uh, you can type a message or jump out and join us. Um, I do want to say that Jordy started off by saying he doesn't want to talk about who we are, but I think it is important for people to know that, you know, we're just two regular dads. You know, and we were just looking for something better for us and our families. And much like you guys, we were, you know, we're, we were stuck doing something that we weren't passionate about, you know, and we needed to make the change. We needed to, you know, get in touch with our inner child and be in integrity with what is truly inside of us. And that's where I found myself, you know, two years ago. I wasn't living the kind of lifestyle that I really wanted to live. It, for me, it was all about money. It was all about making money. And I wasn't truly happy, um, you know, in the way I was doing things. And it just made me a very, very grumpy, angry, overweight, you know, guy that was just expecting to have a heart attack, you know. And when I started to get out and do things, like go biking with Jordy and Claude, I mean, they can attest to it, uh, you know, dropping 60 pounds just completely changed the way I approach my day. You know, and it had nothing to do with making money. And, you know, the fact that we're monetizing it, too, it is totally a different um, reason, you know. But it wasn't about that. It was about really being able to show my kids that when I tell them that they should go and do something they love to do, that they're seeing that dad is doing it as well, you know. So leading by example. And one of the things that I really loved about the business that Jordy and I got involved in was certainly the most important thing is that when you want to become successful and when you want to improve yourself, um, mind, body, spirit, whatever it is, you need to surround yourself by other people that have the same values as you, same beliefs, you know, people that give you um, quality in what they offer and value. Every day when we show up, every day when we attend webinars like this, within our community, there are people providing value, whether it's myself, Jordy, Corky, or, you know, some of the leaders. Mitch, Mitch I think we lost, we lost your audio for a few words there, my friend. Still. Is that, is that better? Can you hear me now? Yeah. We hear you now. Sorry yeah. about that. Um, so I was just saying that in our community of people that join, um, the we lost you again, Mitch. Lost you again. Mitch? He's driving. <laughs> Let him concentrate on the road. <laughs> okay. So does anybody here have any questions? <laughs> um, Too bad. It's probably great what he's saying. Hello. 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 Hey, uh, this is Paolo uh, from California. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, hey, nice Paolo. Hi, Paolo. Hi, um, 
I have some, uh, uh, I would say, uh, very basic questions. So I don't know if this is the, 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 the place where to ask them, but it's, it's like two weeks that I'm trying to ask them. Mm -hmm. um, is, they, is this the right place? Uh, the, the, the questions are around business model and, and, and uh, um, are you already how all this works. Sorry? Are you already an SFM member or are you interested in becoming an SFM member? No, I am already a SFM member. I'm uh, uh, making the decision whether or not to become a LEAP member. That's where I am. Ah, okay. Right so now. in that case, this isn't the right webinar, but what I recommend is jump on a Q&A webinar with Dan Holloway. He runs two of those a week, one in his Scrap the 9 to 5 member Facebook group, and also um, there is an SFM Q&A webinar with Alex and Dan that runs every week. If you have a look at the training library and the training calendar, you'll be able to access um, those webinars. Okay, can, can, do you mind write them in the chat or just send, send something by email? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. So other than that, uh, um, I'll wait to get. I think Mitchell is still talking. For us. Yeah. <laughs> Courtney. Yeah. I feel so bad for Mitch. Could you kind of like try to wave to him or something? <laughs> I'll ring him. Is he still talking? He is still talking. <laughs> He's in that zone now. I hope. I hope. Like. Maybe we should all just clap when he's done and just pretend so he doesn't feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things that you have to contend with when you're on Zoom calls and you're working with people all around the world is we get very used to technological mishaps, yeah. like Mitch not having audio, like sometimes yeah, somebody freezes. Like Corky just called me. Like, did we lose Corky too? <laughs> no, Corky's there. We lost you. We've been watching you talk. We had a whole conversation with Paolo while you were talking to us. Oh, okay. Sorry. We were trying. We were all trying to wave you down. Uh, we had decided we were all going to just clap when you were done with your speech and not say anything so that you wouldn't feel bad. So. <laughs> <laughs> but we decided funny. to be real and honest. Okay, Do you want to share with us? Do you want to share? You were pretty into it, though. Would you like to share what you were saying with anyone now that you're back? No, but if Paolo has a question, by all means, go. You know, I was just saying that I don't know where I was. Just okay. about being integrity with our values and getting out enjoying life and showing others how to do the same. That's really what we're okay. about. Okay. So does anybody else want to talk about where you are and where you'd like to be in your world? in your life? Does anybody want to come out and, you know, be a little bit risque today and come talk to we high adrenaline crazy people right now who just got off the bike trails and see how you could be doing fun stuff? We started to talk to Katie before. I don't know if she's too shy or not, but I want to come out again and just say hi. I know you started to have a chat earlier when we started the call. You don't have to, Katie, if you really don't want to. There's no pressure. <laughs> you do look a bit scared. It's no, fun. you don't have to. Don't worry. You just have to unmute yourself if you want to. Hi. Hi. I don't even know if I'm like how I got here, really, but <laughs> um, I just I signed up one time and I see you guys on on um, when I watch videos. And I just, cool. Welcome. Yeah. Where are, you, where are you? Where are you in the world? Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Or actually Daytona Beach. Sorry, I Oh, even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Daytona. But um it's cool. And I I guess I kind of like see into what you guys do a little bit. But uh I need to watch the webinars. <laughs> Have you watched the seven day video series? Mm -mm. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. So, Definitely yeah. go go and watch those. They're going to give you loads of insight and information on what it is that this business like system is, and what it is that you can expect um, from the training here um, in terms of building a business that you're passionate about. Okay. 
you have any questions at the moment? You're like brand spanking sparkly new. <laughs> if you have any questions, then fire them at us. We're happy to answer them. Um, so everyone has their own angle they take. What is what is that? What do you mean by angle? So that they understand. You mean like your own passions, your own business? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's exactly what it is. Everybody, like I said, depending on what your passions are, and what it, it's. When you join SFM, what happens is you thought it was going to all be about marketing or building an online business, and it's not. It's a combination of that as well as some really heavy-duty mindset stuff, um, but not just mindset like self-help. I'm talking real self-development. What is your purpose? Finding out your purpose, finding out who you are, okay, as your personal brand. What makes you tick? what you love in the world, what you're passionate about, you know? And the whole idea is if we could all work within our passion fields, then, you know, that would be wonderful. And in the past, that was kind of a utopian idea. But these days, because we're all globally connected and there is so much potential of what is possible in doing work and business online and connecting globally to others, um, that anything's possible. So that's not a, a far-fetched idea anymore. It's possible for all of us regular people, and at this point, thousands of us have woken up and are taking advantage of that and are changing our lives, getting out of the rat race, doing stuff that we love, building businesses that we love, or, we're, like I said, working for organizations, working within your passion field at stuff that you really, really love. And the first step is just to find out more. So like Quirky was saying, um, if you watch Stu and Jay in the video series, they explain how all that works and the enormous potential and everything that we're talking about. Then beyond that, you step inside and for very low cost, you can come inside and you start watching. Um, well, the beginning trainings is all um, set up as modules and right away, when you watch the first sections of module one, something clicks usually and you understand exactly what's going on and you start to see your life in different ways with different potential and how it's going to work out for you. And it's not a quit your day job and jump into this get rich quick thing. It's that's the furthest thing from what this is. This is how do you transition? How do you transform your life and transition into a life that you love? You know, it could take, six months to three years, but you got to start somewhere is the idea. Okay. For people who have a lot of money. Yeah, sure. You could do it right away. You could jump right in, take the highest training, go to the highest level, you know, get mentorship, private coaching, all kinds of stuff. Cause that's all available as well. But it starts at from regular folk all the way up to, you know, jet setter types and everyone in between because in our estimation everybody is equal we're all people with different passions you know who want to make our lives better and everybody else is around the world and that's what it should be about and that's why we're all if enough people work within a field that you love you know and everybody could be happier with themselves their families in general um to me that would be an amazing world so that's why I jumped in and became a part of it. And that's why I'm biking with my buddies on a Wednesday. Because I live it now. And uh, and yes, my kids, friends, ask them all the time, how does your dad work? <laughs> and which is really funny. Um, and yeah, I work quite hard, but I work really smart. I have a business that I set up and I worked really hard to set it up. And now I set it on autopilot. So it's making us money while... You know, Mitch and I are business partners and we're making money while we're on the bike trail or out for dinner with our wives or surfing with our kids. And that's how it is. Katie, can I ask you a few questions? So, can you hear me? Yes. Well, currently, what is it that you currently do for work for a living? Um, I'm a secretary now, just a new job. New job. Yeah. Okay. 
And you said you found us watching some videos. What was it that you were looking at? Do you know which video, like what you were looking for? Um, well, I, I like YouTube a lot. And okay. I'm always, I look for inspiration. So yeah, cool. like, um, Jordy's a YouTube Park, channel. Waters or Teal Swan. You guys okay. yeah. So this is a pretty deep question, but if, if you could give me the Twitter answer, if you could give me your ideal day, you know, like what would, what would you see yourself doing? What would you love to be doing? If money did like money didn't matter to you, right? Let's say money didn't matter today. What would it be? That you would you know, I, asked, I asked my nephew, I picked him, I pick him up on the weekends and I asked him uh, two weeks ago, I was like, well, what are you going to do this week, buddy? And he, he said, play. So, I mean, I don't really have something set, you know, but I like that idea of play at life. Right. So, yeah. So that's, that's the thing for us is that we learned early on it. And it's funny because it didn't matter about the money because we just needed to get out and play. It didn't cost very much for us to go out on the bike path and go out with Claude and do it. it you know, of course, when we travel and, and the fact that we go away now and we're able to go to different places in, you know, around Earth and to take our laptop with us and run our business from anywhere, whether it's the beach or whether it's visiting Corky in, in the UK or whatnot, um, we're getting out and having fun. So, you know, one of the messages we like to leave people is whether you do this or you don't, just get out and play, get out and have fun, enjoy your life, do something you love to do, right? That's so important because you're going to see how you're going to wake up as a totally different person when you do that, you know? So, but then translating to maybe you don't like your job as a secretary. Maybe you're looking to get out and be able to go and play whatever you love to do. Maybe it's travel. Maybe it's just go be with your nephew on, pick him up at three o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon and take him for an ice cream, you know? But said you're stuck at a desk that's what we're trying to show people how to do um and that's where the success lies for us you know so if that's something that resonates with you or you want to see it go ahead watch the video series or corky will send you a link you can check it out it's risk-free um you know but as i said uh jordy said we're here just to show you how we live our lives and the ability of what can possibly happen for all of you and, um, you know, if you want to join us, great. Cool. You have any questions yeah. for us? Well, we're, here, we're here for a little more than that, because what we do, unfortunately, because we're all about people, I'm being sarcastic, sorry. Why, <laughs> But yeah, close gone. Um, is what I was going to say is, I was going to say it backwards. Unfortunately, we don't go away unless you really ask us to. <laughs> yeah, because we have... As like most affiliates within SFM, the same way that Cordelia was, was telling Paolo before to go to Dan Holloway's training, everybody within their own business, um, you've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen anything like this before. Everybody opens up. There's no trade secrets. Everybody's business is open to in their trainings and their webinars. Like we get together our members webinars every Friday at 9.30 Eastern. And that's open not just to our people that sign up under us, but to everybody. Okay. And we're more about mindset and playing at life and loving life. Dan Holloway is, is about technical and training. So people go to his technical training webinars. Um, Corky's having one tomorrow about what to do after module five and how to get your business started. You know, because Corky was a nurse. She's not sharing her story today, but she was a nurse and she got out of the rat race and she's got three kids and she is a powerhouse and starting the hey. most amazing business, helping others. Hey, guys. So. I have something, okay? I have, I have something more on the spiritual slash um, more like psychological side. Can I ask this? Go ahead, Paolo. We answer anything. So, um, if you, like, like, the way I would define where I am, like, if you think of, uh, you have no money or you have half a million dollars to start a business, I am somewhere if, much less, but let's say that I have some months to work full time and so on. But one of the things that um, I'm finding, and I already found challenges when I, I started the other business full time, is you wake up in the morning and the first few hours, 
you kind of lost. Like there is some kind of little depression. It's not like a lot of depression, but it's like a little bit. It's just like 5%, 10%, the first few hours. It's very difficult to come up to speed, especially in the moment when you're still not doing anything. I mean, you're watching these videos, you're trying to plan things, you're trying to figure out stuff. So you're not yet in do, doing the things. And I wanted to know, how did you go through that phase? And uh, what do you do to kind of, uh, usually it goes, uh, it goes away by midday, but the first three hours of the day, I'm like kind of, uh, I feel kind of down. I think I'm not low. And I, and I miss a lot me being in the office and talking to all my colleagues, that type of thing I miss. Um, because I'm a, a part of me is nerdy, a part of me is very social. So I miss that social element that usually takes place in the morning. And so I'm noticing that I've become effective around midday, 1 p.m., but the first four hours of the day is kind of a, they go lost. So I wanted to know, like, how was it for you? And what do you do when, when you get into this kind of, uh, I wouldn't say depression, but it's like a low state. It doesn't, you're not in your high state. So I'll, I'll share. Can I, can I have a Go ahead. Uh, Mitch, do you want to share? Because I, I wanted to go with this one because it's hitting really close to home. But if you want, go ahead. It hits close to home for both of us. But I'll, I'll, we'll both share. I just want to tell you, first <laughs> We are human, so we do have ups and days and down days too. So don't think that we're perfect and don't think that everything is, is rosy. We have stressful days, we have kids, we have wives, we have mortgages. You know, um, there is stress for us too. It's the way we manage our stress and it's the way we wake up and tackle um, the day is very different than I used to do. Um, so like when Jordi says talking about, you know, being in flow and breathing, that's a huge difference for me. Um, you know. I get out and socialize on a webinar like this, and there's ones every morning. You could be 30 minutes with JJ just to give you inspiration to go out and lead your day, and you'll see you'll be on a high the whole entire day. You don't have to be alone. There are tons of people out there that, that want to be a part of your day, you know? Um, and the one other thing that I'm saying is when you start to do something that you love to do, um, the depression just kind of subsides. There's stresses but it's not depression anymore for us. And I know it's, it's close to home, so I'll let Jordi share because we've got about two, three minutes left. In a couple of minutes, I'm just gonna very quickly, and it's funny because what's awesome is, um, Mitch and I are so close, but we have, I found your answer, Mitch, was very, very different than mine. And we have like such different perspectives on the idea. And we, I think we both believe in each other's perspective when we've shared it before. Um, I went through a really, really, really bad depression um, a few years ago that I kind of crawled my way out of. Um, I like to say I fought my way out of it, okay? Just um, like Katie was saying, like I'm a YouTube junkie. I basically went on YouTube and learned how our thoughts can, like all about law of attraction and our thoughts control our actions and our emotions and all of that stuff and the whole world, and you can think yourself in or out of anything. And I don't care if anybody doesn't believe that. <laughs> it worked for me, and that was amazing. Um, so what I did is I started creating a plan of putting myself back together and making me, and that's where that whole idea of getting in touch with my inner child. I woke up one morning and I was so miserable. I didn't want to go to work. I was crying all the time. I was in such pain. Um, so I developed a routine. I want to answer Paula's questions. I'm going to talk about the morning. I developed a routine for the morning, which is one of the things, one of the really big things that I did. Um, music touches my soul, and I think it does very many people. I put my earphones on first thing in the morning. I would keep my phone on silent. I wouldn't check anything, no Facebook, none of that, because that takes you – you do Facebook and email, that's taking you in a whole different direction. I just did music um, and music that was part of me, hence the headphones, and went into the living room every morning as I had my coffee and started stretching, okay? Um, I do a lot of yoga now. I'm trying to remember it. I didn't, I was just getting into it back then or maybe back into it. Because the next thing that I did is eventually in the mornings, I started going to an 8.30 yoga class. 
Okay, I took some time off because I told my wife I needed to fix me. And she supported the family for a little while. I said, I'm going to reboot the system. My business was going bankrupt. So I got to shut it down. And I got to fix me for you guys, for me and for you guys. Okay, and it was a really, really tough time. But in the morning, you know, I agree. The mornings are the toughest times because you wake and you're trying to find your purpose. You know, where you get started. Yeah, all this shit that you got to do that you don't want to do. And everything is like a monkey on your back and making you feel terrible. So if you could take yourself away to this beautiful place in the music, in the yoga, that's when I started watching YouTube videos. That's when I listened to certain mindset things, started learning about other ways life could be, different types of ideas, different types of concepts, you know, and started putting it all together. But basically, get on a bike and go for a bike ride. Go for a walk first thing in the morning. Go somewhere and just take care of you. And it's a really, really wonderful place. And don't feel like you need to be somewhere or doing something. Just be, just be, and that's it, you know? And as that person, when you're in flow, that's where you get into flow, then you start opening, read a book, go on YouTube, listen to other people, and I'm not talking about flip through Facebook and see everybody's pretty pictures that really aren't real life anyways. We all know that. And if you don't, I'm telling you right here. I'm not knocking Facebook. I check Facebook like everybody else from time to time. Um, but everybody shows their best face, their best self on Facebook. All the best pictures, all the best everything. Are those lives real? You have to wonder sometimes. I like everything to be real. I like connecting with people that are real. And you realize that we're all the same. Everybody's got struggles. And when I started to look around and realize I'm not the only one that feels like this, I found comfort in that. You know, the next thing I did is I started connecting with groups of people that like things, hobbies and passions that I like. I like sailing. So I started racing. I was a, a crew on a two man boat and started racing every Tuesday night and Thursday night and made that one of the things I did. And then we, you know, you'd have dinner after you know, in the little clubhouse with the other sailors. Anything. Go join a pottery class or a book club. Yoga studio. Talking of Anything. books, Geordie, there's a really good book that you could read, Paolo, that might really help you, um, especially with the morning stuff. It's called uh, The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. I don't know if you've heard of that. <laughs> you That's you awesome. it. You know, it is amazing. Amazing. Awesome. Change the game for you. So that's it. Start off your day with an inspiring, you know, meditation, moment, music, whatever it is, but get out of bed and, you know, find your true purpose. And that's yeah. the message that we want to leave you with today, that and get out and play and have some fun. You know, we're a little yeah. bit of five minutes over time. So if there's any other questions, you can reach out to us by email. You have my email um, in the invitation that you got. You can reach out to us there or through the funnel that you are getting our emails in, um, I always answer. So, or on Facebook. Uh, Facebook too. Or, yeah. on, or on Facebook, because I knocked it, doesn't mean we're not on it to connect with people every single day. That's it. We use it for good, not evil. Exactly. That's what the okay, course is for. So thank, you. thank you, everybody, and uh, nice meeting everybody, and have a uh, nice day. Yeah, Whatever thank you, you if you do join our team, you're more than welcome to attend Friday mornings, 9.30 a.m. Eastern. It's about a 90-minute uh, webinar that we help train our, um, our team in all aspects. So you're more than welcome to attend there. Thanks, guys. Have an inspiring day. We appreciate bye you bye. being here. We wish you a great day. And uh, thanks, Corky, for setting it up. It's always great to see you. Thank and, you. Uh, well, Bye -bye. Our pleasure, Katie. Thanks for coming out and sharing with us. Thanks, Katie. We'll see you guys next week, 3 o'clock Eastern, Wednesdays, 9.30 a.m. Friday mornings for our team members. Take care. Have a great day.